All right, so if you are a Sony shooter, you know how frustrating the menus can be. Hello, my name is Maddie Collins, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about the menu system version two of the Sony a7 IV, a7S III, and then the FX3. We're gonna be talking about, yes, how the menu system has been improved, but there's further improvements with a little bit of know-how on how you can further improve your camera setup. One is through the function button, and there's 12 different options that we'll go over. And then there's also custom menus that you can do within your general menu setup. So that's pretty much it. Let's dive in. If it is your first time here at the channel, welcome. My name is Maddie Collins, and the purpose of this channel is to build a community of photographers and filmmakers alike, um, often creators in their beginner to intermediate stages, stick around and end up subbing. Um, but anyways, just wanted to give you a warm welcome and let's dive back into the video. It is my opinion that your camera should be an extension of your hand, specifically if you are in stressful situations, it's like a once in a lifetime moment, like a wedding or you're shooting for or a client, you really don't wanna be fussing around with your camera and trying to find settings that you're constantly using. So again, that's the purpose of today's video. We're gonna be jumping into that. And before we go forward, I just wanna talk about my camera career. So I did start with the Sony A5100, then moved on to the 6000. So that is the version one Sony menus in my mind. Um, I was frustrated a little bit with it, but I guess I didn't know what I was missing until I got the Canon RP. Canon menus are far from perfect, but they are, I think, the best available. Um, so it was user-friendly, intuitive, and easy to use. But then for so many other reasons, I wanted to switch back to Sony, specifically for the a7 IV. I saw that the menu systems were upgraded, and I was really happy about that. But I really wanted to be able to almost blindfolded be able to use this camera. So for me, what I found was the function key was a really big help in that, and then the custom menus in the My Menu setup. Let's start first with the function option, because to me, this is the most readily available option, and I think it's my personal favorite on the camera. There is a dedicated function button, which gives you 12 different options for often used or very frequently used settings, and that way you don't even have to dive into the menu system, and you you can actually change things like white balance with just the dials. All right, so here we are on the A7 IV menu, just pausing here so you know to go to yellow, settings, and number three, operation customize. Then go down to function menu settings, and you will get a whole list for photo at the top or video at the bottom. Let's focus on video. So you can go through these and you can program them however you like. So if I go autofocus, I can change it to focus mode here. And then when I go back into my preview, I can just press the FN button. And this is kind of how I have mine set up for quick access. You can also use the dials. So the front dial here is going through the different white balance options. And that makes that super easy. Or I can use the back dial at the top to change the Kelvin and color temperature manually. If you are enjoying this video, I know it's a little cringe, but I gotta ask in every video, just leave a like. It goes a really long way in helping my channel get noticed. We just hit 600 subs. I appreciate all of you guys. Let's dive back in. Let's talk a little bit about the custom menus that is in the general menu setup. And the importance of that would be if there's so many different options you can fumble through and try and find and you forget their location all the time. So what you could do is you could set up your customizable menus with frequently visited or frequently used settings. And the cool part about this is there's so many different menus, so you can organize them just how your brain works. One could be simply like focus options, and another one could be camera control options like ISO and aperture and white balance, however you wanna do it. All right, so here we are in the My Menu setup. It is gray, has a star at the top, and I have two menus set up just for the purpose of this video, but I can go down to three, my menu setting and add an item. So let's go ahead and choose a PSC shooting. And then I can select which menu I want to apply it to. And I have six options here. Let's go ahead and put it to three and we'll add one more as well while we're at it. So my menu, add item. This time we're gonna choose aspect ratio. Perfect, and let's add that to menu three. So now we have APS-C and aspect ratio. Now it's easily accessible from the top of your menu. So I have three set up now. 
can go through here, you can add, sort, delete, delete page, delete all. But display from menu is something I'm just going to go over. So if we turn that on and I go back wherever I am from my menu setting. So if I'm just shooting, it's going to take me back to the gray star menu. So that's display from menu on. If I turn it off and go back and say I'm just cruising through my menus, but I'm not in the my menu setup and I leave, when I come back, it's gonna go to the place I was just at. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. That about wraps up everything for today. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Matty out, peace.